have some weights and a ball. So we're gonna do a little combo of an upper body workout with some core work. So we're gonna use that ball to help kind of stabilize our body. Again, if you don't have a ball, um, I even saw someone use a roll of toilet paper. You can use uh, a toilet paper towel rolled up, uh, a pillow, whatever you can get to kind of put right in that lower lumbar of your spine to help stabilize your body. And you're gonna roll back. Once you find that position, I want you to take your tailbone and tuck it into the floor. So I'm pulling that belly button in nice and tight. I'm then gonna take my weights, twos, threes, fives. We don't want anything super heavy for this. And at any point in time, you can take those weights and you can place them to the floor. So we're gonna be in this curl right here and we're just gonna pull those elbows into your ribs. You're gonna take an inhale up and an exhale pull. And we're just reaching those arms directly up to the ceiling as we inhale and exhale lower. Feeling that belly button scooping into your spine. Chin is away from chest, ears away from shoulders. Finding that range of motion right here. Then we're gonna take those arms and we're gonna pull them up and we're gonna hold them at the top. You're gonna take one arm and you're gonna tap and then change. And on that tap and change, I want you to start to find a little bit of a squeeze into that rib cage, into those obliques. So give yourself a little bit of a twist right there. Pulling that belly button deep into your spine, all the way over. Good, give me about four more. Inhales at the top, exhales with the pull. Two more. Good, when you're ready, pull those weights into your chest. Let those weights kind of pull you up, shake it all out. When you're ready, you're gonna take those weights or that ball and you're gonna place it back in that lower lumbar, coming back and we're grabbing those weights. And this time we're starting with those hands right on top. We're gonna single arm open and exhale, pull in. And as you open and close, try not to let your body tip and twist. So you really wanna keep those hips planted, that tailbone long into the floor, that belly button tight into your spine. As you inhale, open, exhale, close. Good, when you're ready, you can open up two arms. Remember, not arching back into that ball. So again, keep that belly button tucking in, keeping that tailbone flat on the floor as you inhale, open, exhale, close. About four more, three, two, and one. Pull those weights into your chest and bring it on up. We're gonna take that ball now and I want you to take it and wedge it right underneath your butt. And now we're gonna think about a, a flat spine from your head to your shoulders to your hips. And we're gonna just kind of lean back just a little bit. And all you're gonna do when you squeeze your legs together, just tap and pull. And we're thinking about that straight line out to the diagonal of our body and just find those bicep curls with that hammerhead squeeze. And if you're looking for a little bit extra core, you can take those toes and just tap them to the floor right here. If you're looking for a little bit more, you can kind of take one up at a time. Just really focusing on stability and isolating through the body. And again, we're not rounded right now. That spine is long and we're reaching back and that ball is like a doorstop underneath your booty to kind of hold that body nice and in place. And when you're ready, give yourself about four, three, two, and one, and take it and shake it all out. We're gonna take those weights, we're gonna place one to the side. I want you to grab your weight on each end. You're gonna bring those legs back out. And from right here, we're just gonna take and lean that body back in that hinge position, and then bring it back up. And inhale, open, and exhale, curl it back up. And when you're ready, you can take that inhale and bring those arms all the way and reach them by your ears, and then bring them back up. And immediately my core is like, what the heck? Shaking and pulling in. And the goal is to not let the arms go behind the ears. It's to keep that belly button tight. Think about opening and closing. Two more. Inhale and exhale. And inhale. And if you can, we're going to take it back. We're gonna wrap, open it right here. Now I want you to just tuck that belly button in tight. You're gonna take and you're gonna twist in and pull back to that curl. So twist your elbow in between your thighs and scoop it back. Twist and little scoop. 
So instead of finding that long spine, you just have that tiny belly button pressing into the spine. Reach and squeeze and reach. Good, four more, four, reach, three, and two, and one, and good. You're gonna take that weight, you're gonna bring it down. We're gonna flip over onto our hands and knees now. So you're gonna take the ball, you're gonna place it in between your inner thighs to help create stability of the lower body. Then you're gonna take your weights and you're gonna grab them in your hands. And now you're gonna kind of be lifted up off of that mat a little bit. Option A is to take your elbows and just alternate, lift, and lower. And I really like to think when you place that weight to the floor, you're gently tapping. So no crashing those weights into your floor, no throwing or dropping. Find that extra bit of resistance as the weight comes back down. And if you want a little bit extra to pull into that core, you curl your toes while you're doing these lifts and you find that lifted table, balance and lower. And lift and lower. So working through your core, avoid booty dancing. Save it for later. Keep that tailbone nice and still and that belly nice and tight. When you're ready, give yourself about four more. Four, three, two, and one, and take those knees down, shake it all out, come into a child's pose if you would like. We're gonna do another one just like this. So we're gonna come back forward, again, squeezing those inner thighs on that ball. You're gonna take your arm, you're gonna swing it open to the side and pull it in, and swing it open and in. So these are your back flies. As you do one part at a time, really think about that tripod balance. So press down with your opposite arm, Keep pulling that belly button up higher each time. And each time as you lift, think about using your muscles and not about using momentum. So find a second to inhale and then exhale lower. This is for your back. Will your shoulders feel it? Yes, but if your shoulders are squeezing up to your, uh, to your ears, too much. So it's less about jerking, less about coming forward, and more about opening and resisting and I really like this tabletop position because you don't really have a chance to lift up and work through the shoulders so really keep that spine flat and work through that back so give me about four three two and one and when you're ready shake it all out you're gonna take and you're gonna come forward and you, again you can sit however you're most comfortable I'm gonna squeeze the ball in between my knees and I'm gonna sit back onto my heels. I'm gonna take a weight and grab it in each side, and you're just gonna do little tricep lifts. So we're just going up and up and up. And so right now I'm thinking about my arms being extended behind me, about my belly button pulling into the spine, and about really keeping my head, shoulders, and hips lifted and stacked. And so right about now you should feel those triceps start to fire up. So I want you to take those arms and I want you to hold them up where you can hold them right there. Now think that I grabbed your elbows and your elbows can't move. You tap and open it back up. Tap and squeeze. Tap and squeeze. Tap and squeeze. So those elbows try to stay nice and still. Four, three, two, and I want you to go back to your pulses. And as you start to pulse up, think about your chest. Are you open across your chest? So often we get into positions like this and we're right here. We're in that iPhone, iPad mode. So while you're here, really use this time to feel the shoulder blades squeezing back, the chest opening, and the shoulders are pulled back and down, not rounding. Four more pulses. Four, three, two, and if you're not burning, you're gonna burn right now. Tap and lengthen, in and squeeze. Tap and reach. Tap and reach. You have four and three and two and one. And when you're ready, take it down. Bring those arms in front of you. Reach that body forward. Find that stretch of the back. And when you're ready, roll and stack it up. Shake it all out. <clears throat> Hope that helped tap into that upper body for you. I've got more upper body workouts coming your way. I'll see you soon.